Hello YouTube, my name is Tim Lupo, and welcome to the third part of my OpenCV tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the basics of OpenCV video processing, and we're going to make an app that will read the video and look for pixels inside of a color range, and display only those pixels. Um, this is really basic. This is, the, I guess, a core functionality of OpenCV. Um, so different projects will require different things, but hopefully this will be a good way for you to get started on your OpenCV project. So, if you're not at this point yet, go watch my other two tutorials where we set up OpenCV for Xcode. Um, in the last one, we wrote this to prove that OpenCV is indeed working. Um, and if we run this, you'll see that we'll just get a video of my webcam. Now, this is unprocessed. This is just core webcam footage. You can see me there. Hello. Um, this is just core webcam footage. So we're going to want to do something to it. We're going to want to utilize OpenCV to read inside of a color range and display only those pixels in that color range. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is add an if statement here to make sure that the cap is open. So we can say if cap dot is open. So if the capture is not open, then we're just going to let ourselves know that the webcam is not open. Um, this is useful just so we won't try to read a webcam that isn't there and try to proceed in our program if there is no webcam and we'll know exactly what the problem is. Um, we're getting an error here because we haven't included the namespace std, so just up here, right, using namespace standard. Perfect. Um, so now I guess we're going to add the main part of OpenCV. Let's start off by deleting all of these, and we're going to want to create three matrices. Um, matrices are just mat. I like to think of them as materials. It makes a little bit more sense, but they're called matrices in OpenCV. So we're going to have a matrices image, which is just the raw webcam footage that's coming in. We're going to have a matrices HSV image, which I'll explain later, but HSV is hue saturation value. And we're going to have this image be converted from the typical RGB to hue saturation value. Because hue saturation value is easier to read in the different colors and to be able to distinguish them in different lighting. Um, and the last thing we're going to want to do is have a matrix uh, that's just a process image. So these are the three mats, and now we're going to have to do something to them. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we want to tell the matrix, or we want to tell OpenCV that the matrices that we want to put our capture, our raw footage, is on image. So this, right here, uh, this is just a comment, you don't have to include this in your code. But this assigns, assigns matrices image to raw footage, the raw webcam footage. Um, so now that we have, if we were to show the webcam footage, we could just be like, um, test image. Now if we were to show this webcam footage, you're going to see that this line just made it, as we had before in our testing, just the raw footage. Um, so now let's get started on processing it. So we can delete this, and we're going to want to convert this image into uh, from its RGB standard state to HSV. Um, I already touched on this before. RGB is red, green, blue. Um, it's standard coloring. HSV is hue saturation value, and it's a little bit easier for using HSV to decipher things, uh, especially for computers and different lighting, and have that not mess up our ranges. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a fun uh, function called CVT color. The input array is image, that's the raw video. The output array is HSV image, the converted thing. And the code is we want to go from CV DGR to HSV. And just like that, it's converted to HSV. Um, so convert mat image to HSV under mat HSV image. So that's what that does. 
And the next thing we're going to want to do is the actual processing. So we can say in range, the input array, which is the HSV image. Um, now we're going. Now we want the right here is the lower value and the upper value. So these are scalars. Um, I'm just going to say zero, zero, zero for now. And this is another scalar. Zero, zero, zero. And what these two numbers are, right here, is this is the hue saturation value right here. So this is hue, this is saturation, and this is value. And this is the lower range, so if we want it to be the entire range, we can say it's from 000 to 255, 255, 255, 255 is the upper range, um, the max upper range of hue saturation value. And we can change these values accordingly. So if you want to just change the hue, then we can say this is the hue is only from 0 to 100, and the rest is all the ranges. If we were to make this 0, 0, 0, then since there's nothing in that range, nothing will happen. Um, I'll show you later once there's a visual for it. And then we're going to want the output array to be the processed image. So what this does is it, it uh, processes HSV image and gets only pixels in scalar range to process image. And you'll see what this looks like in a second. Um, so, if I show you this is the original I use image here, and if I show you processed, just like this, and run this, you'll see that we get two things. So here is the processed video, and here's the original video. You can see it's taking, you can see our range right here is from 0, 0, 0. So, it, so it's from 0 to 255 on saturation and value. So it includes all saturation and value. So the hue is the only thing that matters. Um, which you can see, it'll deal with lighting in a different way that RGB might. So it won't just look like, won't just look for something that's my color, it'll look for the lighting on my color, which is a lot more useful for um, different applications in OpenCV. Um, so if I were to go back here and I'll say this goes from 0 to 255, since it's all pixels are in this range, we'll see in a second that the screen will be completely white because it will be including everything, um, not just the things from 0 to 100 here. So you can see that's completely white. Um, so let's say I wanted something that uh, I just wanted, I only wanted the pixels from 0 to 100 on hue, saturation, and value. And you can go online, look up hue, saturation, value, and look up colors, and get some values for depending on what you're trying to track. Um, but let's say I looked it up, I found out the values that I wanted were, were 100, I just have to put them right here in this upper scalar. Or if you want something from like 100 to 200, then you put 100 in the lower scalar. 200 in the upper scale. But now if I look, then there I am. Um, this is original me, and this is processed me. Uh, and you can see OpenCV fully functioning. Um, one last thing I wanted to include, uh, one last thing I wanted to include is if you want to count the number of, number of white pixels. Um, so in my OpenCV application, I read from an entire crowd holding up different colored glow sticks. And I counted the white pixels to see the ratio of the glow sticks that they were holding up um, and convert that into my program. Uh, so we had a crowd participation application. So depending on how many people were holding up different colored glow sticks, um, I counted the pixels of each, found out which one was more, and went from there. So it's really easy to count the pixels of each. Um, it took me a while to find, so I just want to include in here. So if I have an integer of num pixels, um, NumPixels, all you have to do to find it is say count non zero and then processed image. So this will count all the white pixels in the processed image. And then if I just print this out, so I'm just going to say count non pixels and now If I just run this now, 
you'll see right here are the number of pixels. No. Let me get this a little better. So you can see right here is the white pixels, right here is the number of them. So if I back out and you can see my bookcase has a ton of white pixels, uh, you can see the numbers are really high. But if all of a sudden I come in, I block most of the camera, you can see the numbers go down significantly. Um, so use this as you will. I thought this was helpful. There are a ton of different functions like this in OpenCV. This is just a very basic introduction to image processing. And I hope it helped you get started on your project. So uh, let me know. Comment your projects below. Comment any questions below. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm sorry it was so long between videos. I'm going to try to make a bunch of videos now on different topics. Um, from game dev to web dev to hardware uh, to different types of software. So if you have any projects that you want me to work on or any tutorials that you'd like me to make, uh, please comment them below and I'd love to make them. So thank you so much for watching my OpenCV tutorial series. I really appreciate all the support you've put on it. Um, and I really hope it helped you because I needed some of this help when I was making it myself, so I figured I could give back to you guys. Um, so thank you, good luck on your projects, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.